Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at a topic that probably will interest most of you. How to add gun effects for green screen video. As shown here, I've made my own. This little mini clip of a woman pointing a gun and shooting. As you can see, the main effects here are just basically green screen, a little blend effects, and pretty much some color correction to match the color, the green color, and the green background as well. So you might be wondering why I chose a a field as my background. Well, basically, it's because of the color green, which I will explain later on in this tutorial but right now to get started what I need is basically all the videos so all the videos will either be you can you can click on the video I'm going to add some annotations the video sources or you can click on the links in the video description which I'll point out later okay guys so the main resource that you, you're going to be using is of course the ma the main source of the woman pointing the gun and shooting and a gun flare or, f or like a um, flash from a gun and of course the background which I chose this green field as the background. So to get started, of course, import everything as usual and go to your the gear icon again to add a new track. So video one and go to location, click on that and select after V1 which will place the video bar after V1. So next thing is to drag the background and place it down at the very start and of course adjust it to fit the length of the video as shown here right click to delete and of course just to length to shorten actually the actual video like so so just basic trimming guys before you, we get started on the actual complex stuff after you finish the basic editing and trimming so what we want to do is unhighlight V1 and go down to V2 to add DVE which we will remove the black bars by scaling it up along the x-axis like so and that's it so select V1 again just move the red timeline around to make V1 appear and what we want to do is right click on V1 again to add a green screen effect and as shown there, it's made the video a little bit transparent, but we want the entire thing transparent. So what we want to do is go down to Color Picker and choose a color that you think will make the video transparent. Now to adjust it further, so the main thing is to change either the hue, saturation or luminance to match your video. So this may be a little bit of playing around with, but we will get it Shown there, I've already made the transparent green background as shown here. Just play it a little bit. 
Now of course if you come across anything like that as you can see there's a little bit of green where the woman is just just to adjust it a little bit more if, if you would like to remove the green background like so and just to replay it just to make sure everything is correct and there's no green lying around so it looks good guys so next thing is to add the actual gun flash so what we want is to add another track so another video track and we want to select before v1 as this will be the foreground of the actual video so just deselect all the tracks by clicking on them and by opening or by clicking the viewer what we want to do as this video that I have downloaded off the internet it shows a many gun flashes what we want is just only one so for example I know it really depends on your opinion but I'm just gonna grab the very first flash so three seconds of it and what we want to do is drag the timeline all the way to the point where she clicks the button and the gun is triggered so for example right there once you have the part selected and you want it to be in the video what we want to do is go down to this arrow which is pointing downwards which says replace into the target edit and click on that and as shown there it should replace onto V1 so that's all we need so minimize that for now and of course what we want to do is still while still having all the things unselected we would have to add now it really depends on your opinion but for now I'm just going to go with DVE, the normal DVE because with 3D DVE you can rotate the, the gun flash if you want to make it look more realistic but for, it, for the purposes of this tutorial I'm just going to go with DVE to adjust all the black areas and to crop it as well so once you have included DV just basically crop it to make it a little bit smaller so you can work with it and go down to scale and we want it to scale down so it will fit the gun size or just about the gun size so it looks more realistic so once you have cropped and used the DV tool, what we want to do is go down to add and mixes and blend. So basically blend is just an overlay tool which you can adjust if you want to make it a little bit more sci-fi or something like that. But for now we're just going to use the in front tool. And next is to add the green screen so go down to king and green screen and as shown there it's removed the green but I'm not sure if you can see but there's a little bit green where the yellow is so that's just an easy fix just to move the just to adjust the uh, hue and saturation if you want to a few moments later so once you have finished that guys what we want is to move the flash uh, across to where the nozzle of the gun is just like so and as you may have already seen the flash has this greenish overlay so don't worry because once you move the flash of the gun to where the actual gun is it will just be removed so 
Of course, going back to what I've said earlier, this is the reason why I use the green background to tell you guys try to not use it because it will affect the actual uh, the brightness and the actual video of it. So once you've finished that, just play it over just to make sure. So unselect everything and just play it. Make sure everything is correct as it is. Now we've got a flash which we want, but as you can see Another reason why I chose a green background because of the color difference. As you can see, it's kind of made it greenish, and this is lighter green. So, what we want to do is to cut this again and cut it into three little pieces and to add color correction to V2. So, once you have cu cut it, then go down, go up to V2 to add color correction. And of, co of course, if you're using a different video to mine, then it should you should probably just play around with it just to make sure. But for this particular video, what we want is to increase the saturation to 30%, which will brighten it a little bit more. Or actually maybe more so it just takes a little bit of playing around but once you got it then it's okay now of course what we want is to make it as realistic as possible and as shown here the woman actually is kind of becoming orange because of the color correction so this is not what we want so what we actually want is to add another color correction to the first section of V2. So it has to be the first section, this section here, that section there. And we would just want to darken this just to match the actual, to match the, f the flash of the gun just darken this as well just like so a few moments later there guys I've kind of made it <laughs> adjusted but doesn't seem to adjust itself properly but that's for the purposes of this video of course it just is too long for me to keep adjusting and stuff so I'll just leave it to you guys to adjust the videos uh, also before we finish this video off as well what we want is just to make the just to make the scaling of the video scale the background so it actually makes it look like she's in a field just like so and just adjust this as well so bear with me now shown there guys this is the green screen effect with using gun flares and flashes and of course you can make it into a better one such as this with music uh, the coloring might be a little bit different but it still works the same way yep. I also included a um, little credits page as well just to make sure that everyone knows where all of the video sources come from so yep guys I hope you do enjoy please leave a like share if you want more of these green screen tutorials please ask uh, I might be doing one using blood splatters as well so if you really like it please leave a like share subscribe thanks very much guys see you soon